Lineage has been this really powerful capability that exists in data catalogs today for a couple different use cases. I think number one, when you're able to establish lineage and see how data flows from source all the way down to your BI tools, the number one issue I think in a data pipeline is a dashboard breaks and somebody is going to be asked what happened. Typically, you would have to manually sift through lines and lines of code in SQL and trying to understand what happened, what broke, where did this transformation go wrong, or where did something not sync or break. And with Lineage, you're able to quickly identify that flow of data and then able to diagnose that a lot faster. So this root cause analysis that a data engineer may go through is enabled significantly by having visual data lineage across your data and analytics stack. The other piece is you know, before something breaks, right? Let's say I'm an engineer and I'm about to make a change to our data pipeline and push that into the production world uh, for our organization. What's gonna happen downstream if I make that change? Well, Lineage and the metadata that creates Lineage can now be used in our you know, GitHub actions or GitHub processes that whenever we're pushing back to that main branch, we're actually getting an automated alert saying, you're about to make X amount of changes downstream and that could potentially cause a break. So the Lineage is not only good for the root cause analysis retroactively, but it's also good for that proactive impact analysis. So we touched a little bit before on, on things like governance and uh, regulatory mandates and auditability. Well, there's no truer version of auditability than being able to see where data came from. Uh, and so if you ever run into some kind of regulatory issue and are being asked to share, well, where does this PII or where does this column exist across your data stack? Uh, having lineage and having the metadata that creates lineage is absolutely crucial when it comes to being able to show how a column or how a, you know, a particular field or table uh, moves throughout your data stack. Thanks for watching that video. If you'd love to learn more about Atlin or you just wanna see a product demo or talk to someone on our sales team, make sure you follow the links in the description below. If you love the video, smash that like button and please subscribe to our channel. We'll be putting out clips like this all the time. There's probably already clips on the screen that I know you wanna watch. Thanks everyone.